So now let's turn to the snare drum. We are going to approach this the same way as the kick drum. So first we, I single the bus channel of the snare, bypass all the effects. So as you can see here, I bypass the the bottom mic of the snare because for me there's too much rattling going on down there. So, but again, that's just my taste. You can still leave it on. It's up to you. Uh, but I keep the top mic, of course, and the 1176 mic. But on this one, I use a little pre-EQing, just taking out some of some of the five kilohertz because that sounds very patchy, like somebody slapping you in the face. So I just take that one out. So those go into this one bus snare channel up here. First thing again, I put a compressor. It's the pretty much the same approach as with the kick drum, just a mild compression now to put more punch and more volume into it. Again, the attack is very slow at 50 milliseconds. The release is a bit faster, but not as fast as with the kick drum. I put it to about 200 milliseconds. Ratio again, four to one. And then apply the threshold that is compressing about minus 1.5 to minus two to be that area. So it's just enough. The next thing again is EQ. As you can see here, uh, the fullness of the snare lies in this general area around 200 hertz. So I give this a wider boost, gives more massiveness to it. And there's a very annoying frequency range for the snare between 800 to 1 kilohertz in this general area. So I just put this notch in there to cut it out. I don't use a specific systematic to decide uh, what higher frequencies to boost. I just put a major boost up there. It's nothing special, but if you want to know how you can really decide, what you can do is just to make a notch like this and boost the dB and then just sweep through this area until you find this one crackling sound that you want to stick out more. And if you find it, you retract the dBs again a bit and open up the bandwidth. So let's do that. And that's that. Then I like to add a transient to boost the sustain a bit more, about 1.7 dB. Let's turn that on. Exactly. And that's already it for the inserts effects. Uh, now again, very important for the snare is a sidechain compressor. So I put on another free bus channel um, a compressor, again set very hard, but for this compressor now I have the different approach. Here I don't want to give it too much of punch, I want to give it more sustain. So what I do here is I set the attack very fast to 0.1 milliseconds, so you don't hear much of a hit in there. And the release also to 200 milliseconds as before. The ratio a bit higher this time, five to one, and then I apply the threshold that's a, that it's compressing pretty hard. I think this one goes down to minus 12 dB or something. It's very hard. And let's just listen in what this one compressed channel sounds like. So there you see you got more sustain of it, not too much of the hit. And then we can merge those two channels together. And it sounds something like this. Now 
know, if you feel there's not enough of the hitting for you, you can always boost the volume of the snare bus channel, but always do it very delicately. Now, if you think this ringing of the snare, this is too annoying or too penetrating, then you can always apply an EQ on the bus send channel for the snare, in which you can lower around 500 hertz and 800 hertz. That's where the ring mostly lies in, and this softens this up a bit. So, that's already it for the snare. Now we can go on with the hi-hat. Also a very important instrument. Uh, here in the mic of the hi-hat, as you can see, there's no effects going on. Uh, I like to pan it to about 33% left. And then it's also being sent to its own bus channel. To mix the hi-hats better, let's just make a quick beat. And perhaps we can make one that many of you gentes are familiar with. So here the hi-hat is already mixed, but I'm going to show you now how I mix it. First I single the hi-hat channel, bus channel again, and bypass the effects. So here it's very chunky, it's very low mid based and not so precise and uh, crisp as we want to have it. So first thing I put here is a filter, and this is set pretty hard, almost to 12 o'clock. That takes that out, and then very important again, EQ, also EQ at the right positions. So again, to, to find the right frequencies to reduce and to boost, just make a notch and sweep through the whole frequency range to find them. So to show you, I just put here another EQ, make this notch, then I can show you how to, how to do it. See, that's not a big deal. So you notice there's a lot of chunkiness going on in the 500 hertz section. And to give it more presence, you can boost a little bit around two kilohertz in that general area. And then to give it more air, just boost everything above. So but I'm going to put this away now because I already have it here. So, and there we got a nice hi-hat. Okay, um, now let's move over to the toms. Mm, for this, I would have to make a quick beat with some toms, so just hang on. Okay, there we are, a nice generic uh, tom beat. So, let's just go through those again. Maybe we mute the kick drum because it sticks out very evilly. You see the toms, they have a very 
mid focus tone. But first of all, the first thing again that I do compression, and this is pretty much again the exact same approach as to the other compressors before. Attack very slow, release very fast, ratio of 4 to 1, and threshold applying that it's not compressing too much. Okay, that adds some punch again. Next thing you notice, those toms, they have very much energy in the low realm. So we need to apply a filter so it doesn't merge too much with the kick drum and everything gets too destructive. So we apply this filter maybe to nine o'clock, this area, and it cleans up. Okay, uh, next thing, again, EQ. Here you see, to get rid of those mids, just cut them out. Here I set the cut to about 600 hertz. And then again, a nice wide boost at the high section. As you can see, I don't use sidechain compression for this because to me personally, that's enough. Uh, before I forget to mention it with the hi-hats again and those are pretty loud actually so make sure to adjust the volume of the bus channel I set it to minus 9 dB so okay <laughs> 